Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now it's the end of July and you know what it is. Today I'm gonna be making the second episode of my monthly journals, which is my July one. If you're new here, it is a series where I share my favorites and my feelings in general in my life. The video is going to be in English, not only because I want to practice my English, duh. Also, I feel like it's a little bit different from other videos on my channel, so it's fun. July has been a quite busy and complicated month for me. There are a lot of ups and downs, goods and bads. I'm still trying to process all those because my brain is probably only 4 gigabytes and it's running out of space. But before we get into those like dark and complicated mindset, let's talk about something more joyful stuff, shall we? Some people ask what lipstick I use and this happens to be my current favorite lipstick. So I'm gonna show you. Okay, this is the 3CE liquid lipstick in the shade of taupe. It is a comfortable red. You can wear it on a daily basis and people won't feel like, oh my god, you are so extra. I'm very bad at explaining makeup product as you can see, so I'm just gonna leave it here. If you like this color and you're interested, the color is taupe. The second thing I want to talk about is the earrings that you guys already know. These earrings are gorgeous. You guys have already seen it in my last video, which is the Instagram haul. A lot of people like it and I got a lot of compliments on them. So I guess I'll just mention it again. The last random things that I really enjoy recently is the sunscreen. Ian picked this up because he lost his sunscreen. He was like, I need a sunscreen. I'll show you. Ooh, it feels like water. It's comfortable. It doesn't feel like sticky or eh. But it does smell like sunscreen though. And let's move on to my struggles, which is work versus hobby. Recently, I've been feeling a little bit more dreaded. Not only at work, it just in life in general. I am someone who has to know why I do what I'm doing or have a sense of purpose of doing things. Otherwise, I got scared. Like, I don't like the feeling of doing things for no reason since I have to balance my work and my hobby at the same time. In July, it was just very mentally and physically exhausted. At one point, I found myself on the edge of separating my work and my hobby. My work and my hobby had so closely related to each other, so it's just so hard for me to cut clear. There's so much I want to do with my work as well as on my channel, but I just have like 24 hours a day and I have to sleep, I have to eat, I have to ah, do those necessary things. And that just frustrates me because my ability is just not there, but I have so much I want to do. Maybe you will say, what if you just make your hobby your full-time job? To that, I have thought about it to be honest, but to me, it's er uh, i'm not quite there yet in my perspective if you want to pursue your hobby or passion it's very important to make sure that you found a sustainable way which means that if you consider doing that full time or just commit yourself into that hobby or passion you know that you don't have to worry too much about financially because if you do that would turn into a very big stress. If that stress overpower your passion, you would lose the interest in the original intention of doing that. And that is one reason I don't want that to happen because I need this to be a happy thing for me to do. Um, of course, in the future, maybe there are other opportunity that comes up and like I have an open mind. As for now, I don't think I can support myself enough for me to like, I do respect everyone who decided to pursue their passion, whether they go, they quit their job and go travel around the world. They are very brave for making that decision. But to me, I need to convince myself that I will be able to keep that passion going. Hey guys, I'm back. Yes, I just want to add a little bit to you. I just want to add a little bit to you. I just want to add a little bit to you. I just want to add a little bit to you. I just want to add a little bit to you. I just want to add a little bit to you. I just want to 觉得蛮好的，我有一份很有兴趣的工作，然后另外一边可以经营自己的兴趣。其实想一想，现在这样子其实是最好的。对，嗯，就是你知道，要补充一下。A lot of people message me and they say, oh, I feel like you really know what you want to do. But the truth is I don't. I am still someone who's figuring out life. Like I always look up to the successful people and I feel like why they already know what they want to do and I'm still here and doing this. I believe one thing leads to another. What you're doing right now might lead to better opportunity or bigger things in your life. You just don't know. If you're confused, 
it's okay, I'm confused, we're friends, you know, like, we're on the same page. I'm sure when I'm 50, I will still be confused, like, equally confused about my life. I just hope that I will figure something out in August. Let's pray. That's the heavy stuff. Let's get rid of that. And let's talk about my favorite music recently. I will recommend one music channel and one song. I recently got into the lo-fi music, which is more of like, the low beats with very calming and relaxing melody and I just love that there are some channels on YouTube they're doing the streaming all the time when you are studying you can just open their channel and just listen to it but um, there's one particular channel that's smaller but I really like it I feel like the music that he produces when I listen to it it just gives me enough headspace to really focus on what I'm doing the channel is called the love set kids I don't really know this musicians like background or anything but um, I really like his music and the second song is James Arthur naked I shared this a couple days ago on my Instagram his voice it sounds like he has a story to tell when I listen to his voice I just have like a secret attachment to his voice and I don't know it's contagious that's all I can say it's contagious so please go listen to it okay now it's the rent if you're doing yoga Please. This is the pet peeve that I discovered recently. I really don't like people when they go into the yoga class. Before the class starts, they will talk, chat, or laugh. It is just so not respectful to other students. Yoga is not just an exercise. It's a practice of your physical and mental body. It is so important to calm yourself down and get yourself grounded. If you're laughing and chatting in the classroom, it just kind of ruins the whole situations of, you know, uh, being on my zone. If you want to talk, just go outside. You don't have to affect other people. If you go into a yoga class, be aware that other people might need some time to like put yourself in the right headspace. Please respect each other and yeah and last but not least i'm gonna share three quotes that i feel like it really helps me in the month of july it's your life don't let anyone make you feel guilty for living it your way be who you needed when you were younger waking up motivated isn't a talent it's a mindset and a lifestyle i hope you guys will get some stuff out of this video i don't know it's summer it's the time where you press the restart button and just start fresh kind of set your own goal again if you're confused in July like me I just want to say it's okay I'm still confused too I'm not like someone who always know what I want but this is a journey that we all have to go through it is something that only we can go through not anyone else make sure to listen to your own opinion listen to your heart seek for advice from other people but keep in mind that you have to make the final decision no one else can I hope you guys will like it and thank you Gudetama for always being with me and you make it this far to the video please list one thing that happened in July that make you feel really happy if you guys like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also you can follow my instagram right here and i guess i'll see you guys in my next video bye one of those months make sure to check the first comment that I pinned on top on my last video because i made some mistake on the art history and i think that's very important for me to address my mistake um, and thank you for the viewers who pointed out and i appreciate that and, uh, yeah